Hi guys. So this is the other main campsite uh, <clears throat> at this secret little location up here in the Adirondacks. I have this entire lake to myself and uh, so this is always the campsite that I've been staying at for years. Uh, I mean it's absolutely gorgeous itself. Now I'm saying the one I was just at that I've never been able to score before probably is prettier. Although it's hard to, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it, you know, <coughs> prettier than this. Uh, and uh, you, you're not going to go wrong. So that's where I, the other campsite is right around that bend. So this is the view out from this campsite. Uh, so, why it's, well, it's not quite as absolutely spectacularly gorgeous as the other one, although it's pretty damn gorgeous. Look at this fire pit that has been built this year. Uh, the advantage of this one is that the traffic noise is much more subdued. The highway, there's still traffic noise here, but compared to that last one, uh, you know, particularly think about being here at night. And, uh, you know, when the traffic dies down. So, uh, it's absolutely gorgeous as that first campsite is. Uh, I'm going to bring it up here simply to get away from that damn uh, car noise and uh, just come back to my old stomping ground. So again, kind of like that other one, this is actually two campsites right next to each other. So uh, the downside of that is that uh, on both of these that if if, if it's just you in one car uh, and somebody else can come camp pretty much right next to you. Uh, but the upside is if you have a large group, so there's uh, plenty of room for, for uh, groups here. Then there's a third campsite across the road. So there's actually three campsites. There's room for, good Lord, at either one of these spots, assuming there's nobody there when you get there, which is a big assumption, there's room for six or seven cars. But, you know, these are all first come, first served. Uh, you can't reserve these campsites. And, uh, also, this campsite, like the other one, also has a, an outhouse, has a privy back there. So, uh, the traffic noise, or lack thereof, gets the, uh, gets the vote. Uh, but you won't go wrong with either of these, again, if you want to know where I am, send me an email at humptydumptytribe at gmail.com and I will tell you how to find this on freecampsites.net. It is on freecampsites.net. I will just have to tell you the secret place to look. So here's the other overflow campsite on this side. And it's, so it's not waterfront, but it also has a trail and a kayak launch from there. Now this is my personal pick of all the Adirondacks. Uh, anywhere I have explored in the Adirondacks. I usually find myself coming back. Get out there and enjoy this spectacular fall of 2021 while well, you still can my guys